hundreds and hundreds of workers from around the state gathered at the Capitol to make a statement. It, it sounds so good, right? Right to work. Who could be against the right to work? And we've seen it now in state after state after state. What does it actually mean? What it actually means is employees who work in a company that is represented by the union can choose to uh, not pay dues while at the same time uh, accepting the exact same wages, health care, pension, working condition that all the other uh, members uh, receive. It's about driving down wages and benefits so that the corporate folks make even more money and it's an attack by the right-wing Republicans to silence unions. So they package all these things and everything sounds so nice. Right to work. Freedom in the workplace. You know what? They got catchy slogans. You know what I call? I call bullshit on all of I and mean, I want folks to know, because there may be some people in West Virginia that live there, may not be aware of this, or may not be aware that they can take part and join. This will be at the state capitol. This starts, correct me if I'm wrong, Mr. Hall, at 6 p.m. Eastern. And this will be voices together, collectively voicing their opposition to the pending right-to-work legislation. You're absolutely correct. The Redunda is filling up. This beautiful capital, Redunda, is, it is more beautiful than ever because it, it is full of... Uh, Good, hard working West Virginia. Welcome to your house! And as a show of support for every single one of you, that we stand together, that we are not for right to work because right to work is wrong! Right or wrong! Right or wrong! The policies that are being pushed forward and run down our throats are wrong for West Virginia. They are wrong for you. We're not going to take this. We're not going to take it tonight. We're not going to take it for the next 60 days. And we're not going to take it in the ballot box anymore. Right to work is wrong. 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 Call committee back to order and reconvene in our deliberations regarding Senate Bill 1. I have any questions from members directed to Ken Hall. And I see that Mr. Hall has returned, if you will. A few questions related to uh, some stuff that uh, has been discussed earlier. Um, would negotiating related to health care coverage uh, include the types of health care coverage, what types of things would be covered, what things wouldn't be covered by the health care coverage? If you're talking about the level of benefits, it certainly would. You think anybody would oppa uh, oppose um, a policy that includes exchange operations? Uh, that is certainly possible. Our plans don't include that. Sir, I just got my 40-year membership in, and I have to say that no one's ever had a discussion with me about uh, sex change or abortion. I'm kind of curious. You're from West Virginia, right? I believe you said that. I am a lifelong West Virginian. Okay. Um, are you... And I'm going to guess you are because you're from West Virginia, a member of the NRA. I am not. You're not a member of the NRA. I am not. 
do you consider yourself to be a, a free rider on all the work that the NRA, NRA does to protect your rights uh, under the Second Amendment to the U.S. Constitution? All of us dues-paying members, all of us dues-paying members feel like you're getting a free ride. I think you should be uh, paying in. Well, I'll make you an agreement, Senator. If you'll vote no on right to work, I'll join the NRA. <laughs> <laughs> well. of debate, the final vote was met with outrage for opponents in the gallery. Bill is approved, passed. <laughs> Senator from the 13th. Legal challenges to West Virginia's right to work law will be taken up today during a hearing in Kanawha County Circuit Court. Kanawha County Circuit Judge Jennifer Bailey blocked the implementation of a new right to work law in West Virginia today, ordering an injunction during a hearing in her Charleston courtroom. The ruling blocks West Virginia's controversial new law from taking effect until the court makes a final decision.